Well, the statue certainly does have an awesome presence. The tallest standing structure here when put into the skyline in 1886. Of course, the distinction went back to France in 1889 with the Eiffel Tower. Hope they're listening. And, uh, and then it came back to us again with the Empire State Building in 1931. And the continued rise of the vertical city, that's quite a sight from here. And out on the waterfront, probably your last great opportunity, unless you go over to New Jersey or Brooklyn and look at one aspect of the skyline. Because when you're in the middle of Manhattan Island, you're looking up, the buildings are all around you, and you don't get the perspective you do here looking out. Looking out the other way, to your far right, you can see what was once the longest suspension bridge in the world, coming almost a century after the Brooklyn Bridge. In 1964, we added the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. That's the Verrazano Narrows Bridge linking Staten Island behind us to the end of Brooklyn on Long Island to the right of us. And that replaced another ferry system. Uh, of course, the main ferry to Staten, between Staten Island and Manhattan Island is still going strong today. Staten Island ferries, again, behind us. One coming, one going, I think, like every half hour. Remember, best in the town, they're free. You know, with Staten Island, it's a whole different world over there. Not too many buildings even break the skyline. And not too many people live over there. Only about roughly a half a million. So, a far cry from Manhattan Island. There are about 1.8 million inside, but the island's population easily doubles by all you people from Alberta and France and uh, other parts of our country and Australia. I don't know wherever else you're from that I miss coming to visit us every day. We're glad to visit and uh, create that great, that great island city at the center of the world. There's a good part of the world represented here. Hopefully you all feel uh, some, somewhat at home in the city once you learn to get around. And it's not that tough, except when you're downtown here, the streets are our name. And it's a little bit higher. When you get up past Greenwich Village, there you got that grid. So you know you're going uptown when you're on an avenue like Fifth Avenue. You go from 34th Street, the Empire State Building, 35th Street, 36th Street. You're going up on the island or uptown, as you said. Those are the terms we use on the island, uptown and downtown, Jersey and the rest of the world. At least as far as I know, you know, it's north and south. But come to where you come right to the city. You see uptown and downtown, you ride the subway, uptown and downtown. I've got to know the directional terms. You never get there, you just go there. Very interesting. You're on the street corner, you ask them different directions. They tell you, you go right to the south, you go to ask them from New Jersey or something. Some other places, you go to the other side, you don't give me those directions. The other thing about New York is, Time is the most important here. Time is money. And, uh, we're noted to move very quick. Too fast, talk fast, walk fast. Always on the move. So when we get direction, it's always a matter of we get there in ten minutes, seven minutes, or whatever it's going to take. Very you probably feel that when you're walking on the sidewalks. But of course, our sidewalks are our highways because most of us don't drive. Uh, hopefully you're all enjoying Manhattan. Uh, I you back over to Brooklyn. The Bronx is a New York Yankees baseball team. Yay, somebody did. I hope you went in the opener when they won, not yesterday when they didn't do anything. Um, uh, at any rate, it's, it's, they're all very different characters. Uh, and maybe when you're finished here at the South Street Seaport, you just get walk over the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, there, of course, you hear people speaking with more distinct accents. Than, uh, 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 very uh, 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 People are trying to uh, alleviate or eliminate that asset. What's 
well, I have co-workers from Brooklyn, so we can put them on the mic. <laughs> also, you get to sample some, uh, some different, uh, different things. Right at the end of the Brooklyn Bridge is your hungry. People will walk over there just for from all these pieces. So fishy. So fishy. We're passing by the House of Williams at the border of Governor's Island in 1811 by Jonathan Williams, Chief Engineer, also the Chief Superintendent of West Point Military Academy at the time. And at the end of the party days there, you can see this town deserted that little island is. There's small town of the Thank you. 